Hey, what's going on, guys? I just want to start off with saying good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever, uh, you know, time it is you are watching this at. <clears throat> Excuse me. Had a little miniature burp. I'm sure you didn't want to know that. Anyways, we are playing a Bad Water Basin, a sniper gameplay, obviously, because I'm using a sniper rifle right, right now. It is a strange sniper rifle, so <clears throat> don't get all crazy on me. That is a skin, so... If you're wondering, that is uh, that is just a skin. That is not in the game. If you're flipping a shit right now, that is in that is not in the game. Oh, goddamn. Anyways, uh, I just wanted to make an announcement here that I might be closing the Derp Life series. Um, probably gonna be holding it off for now because it's just it just doesn't seem as interesting as some of the newer games. I feel like it's overdone. I've beaten the game many times already. Uh, so it's it's just not that interesting to most people. I don't I don't know that yet because I'm not I'm not that big yet. But um, if you want me to continue that series, please leave good feedback on it. Please leave feedback in the comments on this video. If you if you want me to continue that series, I will. But right now I'm just gonna hold off for now because I'm I'm doing good with um with Hunter doing the dual commentaries with Team Brofist uh, and the Killing Floor series that we're doing that we've recently been uploading that's doing pretty damn good right now so I, l I like that series it's really fun that game is really fun Killing Floor is pretty awesome man so go play that game but uh, watch this video first cuz you'll learn a lot from me actually you won't but uh, watch it anyways uh, so I wanted to talk a, a little bit about me, since uh, since I'm the only one here right now and I'm uh, by myself. I kind of want to talk about myself, and future viewers would like to know a little bit more about me. I am currently still in high school. I'm about to get out. I'm a senior in high school, but I just recently started commentary because it's fun. I I watch a lot of commentary, so. I know I you know why don't I make some commentary myself and I play a lot of TF2, so why not make some TF2 post comms and some commentary dual commentaries with friends and stuff because it's really fun to play with friends. TF2 is fucking amazing. I've been playing this since 2007, but um, I had a long break from TF2 for a little while until I started up this commentary stuff. This commentary it's not a business yet. But I'm going to keep uploading until it is a business. <laughs> um, I'm doing this for fun. I'm not doing this to get big or to, get, to really get noticed. But I would like to get big. I'd like to get noticed. So it's really fun to make videos and upload this kind of stuff. And um, if you hear the music in the background, that is, uh, that is Ballyhoo. It is re uh, Ballyhoo is really good. Uh, if I hope I don't get copyrighted for this. I might get copyrighted. If you like that music, go check Ballyhoo out, because that is fucking awesome music. That is, like, my favorite type of music, right there. Anyways, yeah, I'm going to continue doing Team Brofist stuff, uh, all of that, uh, Killing Floor, some new series will come up, and if uh, you want me to do some single-player stuff, uh, recommend some popular games. Uh, I will do anything you want me to do. I'll, I will be your game sex slave. I will do anything. <laughs> I'm sorry. I do that a lot. I do that too much. I am crazy. I'm fucking insane. I am. This is seriously just me being calm right now. I'm trying to be calm. I'm trying to calm myself. <laughs> I'm actually supposed to be at school right now, and I'm. <laughs> I, I'm. I'm supposedly sick. Uh, um, quote unquote. I just didn't. I didn't feel like going to school today, so I just stayed home. I woke up late, so I was like, oh, I might as well stay home. So I did. I did that. I stayed home. Anyways, uh, this is not what I want to do as a career. I also want to be a computer hardware engineer. That is my life dream. It's not really a dream, but it's what I want to do as a as a career. And as a side job, photography would be fucking awesome because I love taking pictures. That's all I do. Take shit tons of pictures. Maybe. Uh, Maybe I can make a montage of pictures that I take, but I don't know how interesting that would be. And, um, I don't know if I should start up vlogs or, um, whatnot, but uh, I might need to get a Twitter for this if, uh, if I get any bigger, if I get any more, uh, subscribers or followers. But, 
well, whoever is subscribed to me right now, you guys are awesome for staying with me, you're supporting me. Um, just, uh, I want to see if there's anything I'm forgetting here. Uh, there's nothing, there's nothing really, really big, but... Okay, I'm back. Um, I kind of had to think about some things to talk about. I have ADHD. I am not a fast thinker. I'm sorry, people, but <clears throat> my mind goes like shit blank when, I, when I'm recording like this. I'll get used to it, though, because I'm going to keep doing this because I want to do this. It's awesome. But anyways, I wanted to talk about where I want to be, where I want to go. I want to be in California. That is my dream. To go to California and do what I love, do what I want to do, do my own thing. God damn it! I wanna, I wanna love life. I wanna, I wanna live life. Okay, and living life doesn't mean living in South Carolina. I don't want to be here. It's boring as fuck here. And people will agree because if you've ever been to South Carolina, it's uh, there's not much here. You know, besides uh besides like huge country bars and all that bullshit anyways I'm not all into that stuff I'm not a country boy but I was definitely uh, raised here so I've picked up some of that shit uh, California would be awesome I wanna go out I don't wanna live like too close to the beach but I, I also don't wanna like I, I don't wanna live too far from the beach I also don't wanna be like like right on the beach I wanna be like like 30 minutes away from the beach that would be awesome. You know, this is just my dreams. I'm not, you know, expecting any of this. I would love to expect it though. Like if I if I do good, if I do good in life, I'm definitely expecting this. To, maybe maybe I could just be a professional TF2 sniper in California, bro. That would be great. <laughs> no, that's not going to happen. Uh, but I do want to be a photographer. So I uh, I took a little break from, uh, from from this for a little bit and I went to watch a trailer for Dead Island Riptide What the fuck is that bullshit? What is that? DL D DLC That is all all it is. That is uh, I don't get it. Why does this happen? Why? Why couldn't they just make that a DLC? This is legitimately pissing me off. What? <laughs> Uh, this is kind of like that time when uh, everyone thought that Left 4 Dead 2 was a DLC because they were just adding new weapons and new characters. And no, this is just a f new scenery, pretty much. With with Dead Island, it's all the same shit, all the same basic movements and and um, you know weapons, uh, the same mini map, the same kind of looks. It's just different like missions and areas, just like a DLC. But it's in it's in pre-alpha, so I'm a l I will give it a fucking chance I love Dead Island I beat the first um, I beat Dead Island I'm not gonna say beat the first one because when this one comes out it's it's just gonna be a be a DLC to me I don't even know why I would buy it I swear if it's over sixty dollars then I am not buying it I'm not buying it at all until it's like on sale for five dollars I don't think Dead Island was ever on sale for five dollars but I I swear that's how much it needs to be before I'm gonna buy it. It it looks fun. Dead Island is fun. I will give them that. They did a good fucking job on Dead Island. I just think uh it would be awesome if they just uh, you know added improvements to the game. Maybe enhanced the music a little bit because while watching the trailer, I heard the same fucking music in the background that I did when I played the first Dead Island. <laughs> I'm disappointed. I am disappointed, Deep Silver. Deep Silver butt sex. <sighs> and uh, what is this uh, d uh, Crisis 3 shit? What's going on there? D crisis. <laughs> Cri crisis 3. <laughs> what? Crisis 3? <laughs> They're going way too fast on this. See, now everything is starting to starting to happen like with Call of Duty. They're just starting to to replicate the game and just add like new stuff to it and call it a sequel. 
I don't, I don't, uh, I don't understand there. All you, all I see different right now in Crisis 3 is a, is a goddamn uh, bow and arrow. That's all I see. That's, uh, that's like enhanced Minecraft. I, I can't, I can't deal with it. I might buy it. I might buy it and check it out because I am a big Crisis fan. I love Crisis. Crisis 1 was the shit. It was like <coughs> one of my favorite games. Fucking spies, man. Can't deal. Look, do you see him? Look at that cocky bastard running back into. I really gotta use the bathroom right now. Anyways, I was talking about Crisis. Crisis was like one of my favorite games um, beside Half Life 2. Because of how amazingly, like how well it was able to run on such a shitty computer, it was like one of the the, the bestest things ever, man. I had like a computer that couldn't even run um, World of Warcraft, and I was able to play Crisis on the lowest setting, at like 60 frames. But yeah, that's beside the point. But anyway, not really, because I'm talking about Crisis and video games that are kind of. Uh, repeating themselves here yeah crisis 3 it kind of looks like crisis 2 just with a with a bow and arrow I don't know they could be different I'm not really sure of when it comes out yet but when it does I don't think I'll buy it just like the Dead Island Riptide I'm not gonna buy it as soon as it comes out I'll probably check it out in uh, commentaries and stuff so I'm such a big fan of commentaries commentaries are so stupid oh um yeah, Crisis was a great game. That was that was like my childhood, one of my childhood games. Besides Half Life, Half Life One, oh, good game. <laughs> I would do a uh, playthrough of Half Life One if I didn't beat that game so many times as well. That was like one of the funnest games ever. Anyone who's played it would know. Anyone who watching this who's played it would know that. Half-Life 1 was awesome. All the mods, all the various mods they came out with, like, Team Ford, Counter-Strike started this whole thing. I, yeah, I'm, I'm a pervert, but... <laughs> okay. Okay, sorry about that. I actually ran out of, uh, footage there for a second, but I, I got some more, I found some more. Uh, the, the footage I had set w was, um, was a little too little. I didn't have enough put in, so I put in some more footage. Anyways, I was on the topic of mods and how Call of Duty started. Call of Duty started, I honestly think it all started with Counter-Strike. Because, you know, when they... The very first first-person shooter, to me, you know, was like... Um, 007, yeah, it was... GoldenEye. The GoldenEye and 007, then Quake. I think, I think Quake was actually before GoldenEye. Quake was probably one of the first very, very successful first-person shooters out there. And, you know, from Quake, it went uh, it went to Half-Life, and Half-Life actually ran on the Quake engine for a good bit for a while after uh, Quake was released. And then, and then Valve uh, started making their own stuff. They started making their own engine for Half-Life 1, the official Half-Life 1, because the very first Half-Life 1 was was not the one that's on Steam right now, but it was like right on the Quake engine. I'm not sure if it's still you're still able to get it to this day, but I think um, I think you could play it on the Nintendo 64 or Dreamcast. I'm not sure, but uh, don't get me wrong, I don't study this shit. Anyways, it all started with um, mods with Half Life, but which started from Quake. I think it all grew from Cra Quake from. Uh, it was just all mods. Half-Life came out, and then Counter-Strike uh, 1.6 came out, and that inspired a good bit of uh, of people there. It, it got a it got a lot of attention, and then uh, Call of Duty was made. I'm not sure, you know, I'm not sure if the first Call of Duty was really you know inspired by Call of Duty, but I just I remember Call of Duty being like one of the first you know, very, very, very popular multiplayer first-person shooters, and now it's, and now it's, like, judged, you know, with, Counter-Strike was, like, the first to do gun game, and it's still, like, judged, 
because like Call of Duty players are like, oh my god, Counter Strike is copying good game. It came out before fucking Call of Duty. Call them your ball sacks, dude. You uh, you you do realize Counter Strike came out in 1999. It was like a mod for Half Life. Anyways, I'm gonna end this rant because I don't have a lot of footage left over, so I will probably continue to talk about this topic on my next postcom. Maybe not. Maybe I'll talk about something else. I will write up a list next time because I wasn't fully prepared this time. Have a good day, viewers. We will be back some other time. I'll continue making Killing Floor videos with Hunter. Anyways, have a good day.